This is the Sales Advantage. Welcome to Telephone Skills and Appointment Scheduling. My name is Marshall Northcott. I am a seasoned consultative sales professional and corporate trainer. This e-learning module is designed to transform the mindset of participants so they are armed to overcome barriers by building an effective strategy that successfully converts more calls into an appointment or sale. You are encouraged to download and print the course workbook in the Documents folder and take notes during the training module. The narrated portion of the module is broken into nine separate sections known as learning paths which total 90 recorded minutes. You may pause the program or take a break at any time during the learning paths and the learning management software will keep track of your progress. In addition, there are four mini-timed quizzes to evaluate your understanding of each section of the e-learning module and a final exam. Use the graded quizzes to measure your progress throughout the module in preparation for the final exam. Each quiz and exam question have a 90 second time limit and the quizzes and exam also have a time limit. You cannot pause the quizzes or exam once you begin. The information in this module will enable you to think about your calls from the prospect's perspective so you are able to develop an ideal mindset making it physically easier to improve results. You will learn what is required to master your effectiveness by becoming more conscious of your approach. We will teach you how to build a strategy that allows you to think through any selling scenario by implementing ideas, techniques, and professional secrets for success. We will explore ideas for overcoming barriers, gathering information, and achieving better results. Shorten sales cycles by learning how to identify decision makers and key influencers. Capture interest and secure prospects' time by making them receptive. Discover how to break the mold by tailoring your approach to the prospect so that you convert more conversations into an appointment or sale. In this e-learning module, you will discover tips, techniques, and ideas to help you gain a better understanding of the skills required to become more successful while using the phone to book appointments. Ask better questions to uncover a higher quality of information for qualifying prospects and moving them forward in the sales cycle. Learn how to create and apply a specific benefit statement for superior results. Understand what primary motivating factors are and how to use them to your advantage to successfully book more appointments. Before we dive into this module, there is a need to address the doubt and skepticism some people have about the effectiveness of the telephone as a tool for communicating with prospects and clients. As we compare the past and the present, the question is, what has changed? For those of us who were in the sales profession prior to or throughout the 80s and the 90s, there is no doubt that the telephone was a major contributor to our success. There were far fewer technological barriers, so the phone was our primary means for making initial contact, determining who the decision maker was, investigating, qualifying, and prospecting for business opportunities, scheduling meetings, or generating sales results. Doubters, or those who are looking for an excuse not to make phone calls, would have you believe that using the phone for these activities today is no longer a viable and effective method for achieving results. In many business-to-business -business applications, this couldn't be further from the truth. As sales professionals, we have a message that we want and need to deliver. This is part of the basics of selling that has remained consistent throughout time. It hasn't changed, nor will this change. The phone provides us with a vehicle for the delivery of our message. What has in most cases changed is the degree of difficulty that we encounter and the number of attempts that we must make in order to be successful connecting with people and achieving our objectives. This means that we must improve our skills so that we're able to establish a case for advancing the sales opportunity by earning the right, gaining acceptance, and the permission necessary to proceed. 
the more complex the opportunities are and the higher the price tag of your solutions, the more it will take to get beyond gatekeepers and work through varying levels of influencers to the decision makers. It may look different, it may be more feature rich, but at the end of the day, it's still a phone. Please define, describe, or provide your perspective on telephone skills. After asking hundreds of individuals this question, here are some of the more common responses they provided. Common sense details that sales professionals must be aware of in order to maximize the completed call to scheduled appointment ratio. Knowing instinctively what to say, how to say it, and when to say it. Having a script so well rehearsed that you've taken ownership of it. Being aware of common objections, smoke screens, and how to successfully overcome them. Results-oriented mannerism. Mental and physical preparedness. An air of expectancy for success. The ability to remain flexible while thinking and acting quickly. A calm, relaxed nature while communicating with people by phone. Enjoying yourself and having fun while accomplishing your objectives. A clear understanding of how to effectively use the phone as a business tool to leverage your time. Attentive listening skills and an ability to read between the lines for opportunity and a better understanding. Polite manners and observing rules of etiquette. Communicating with clear, concise, articulate, easily understandable vocabulary. What are some of the typical attitudes that we face while using the phone for business? What are people typically thinking when they receive your call? Why is it important to understand this? By being armed with this knowledge, what can we do to achieve better results? The typical attitudes and thinking you face when people receive your call are, you're an annoyance, wasting my time, if I'm interested, I'll call you, I'm busy, I'm in the middle of something, you're bothering me, what we're doing now is fine, go away, do you know how many calls like this that I receive? It is important to understand this so we can adjust our approach and separate ourselves from the other callers who are unsuccessful getting past these attitudes in order to prepare ourselves to shift their mindset. By being armed with this knowledge, you can achieve better results because you can save precious time by thinking like a customer, shifting your own mindset and leverage this knowledge. Prepare a more effective approach. Be direct and to the point. Disarming, non-threatening. Plan out what to say. Ask for permission. Be respectful. This concludes step number one of the learning path. Please click on the green next button with the white arrow in order to advance to the next step.